Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to another Diecast Emporium video. Today, we're going to take a look at the Sword 150th scale Freightliner Century class tractor in red. Now, they've offered this in a variety of different colors, including a set that came with a flatbed trailer. That was the ATS livery. Now, very early on, I did a video review of that. So, if you want to check that out, look at the top of your screen right now. Click on that little bubble, and you can see the review of that. Now, this was shipped in a plain white box. Really nothing to write home about. The only way that you know what's inside is the sword designation. SW, I would presume, would be sword. R, I would presume, would mean the color of red. So this is a very nice tractor. Great steering. Great range of motion either way that you steer. It will hold that pose. So you have nothing to worry about there. If we take a look underneath the hood, you can see there are a lot of components in there that are modeled. You have your fan, of course your engine, your turbocharger, all that kind of stuff recreated quite nicely. The mirrors you have to add on separately and they just slot into a couple of holes. They can be a little finicky and they tend to fall out. Of course this problem can always be solved by gluing them. Um, which I don't personally recommend, but you can do that or maybe use some putty as well. Coming along to the back side of the tractor, you can see that it has a headache rack right here, which looks great. And your airlines here for your brakes and your lights. The fifth wheel on this is adjustable, meaning that you can move it forward and backwards. And any of your SWORD or WSI trailers will fit into there, no problem. So, this is a sleeper truck. So, let's take the top off. See what's inside. And just to prevent these from falling out 20 times, I'm going to remove, remove the mirrors. Alright, so inside you can see the driver and passenger seat. seats. They are... Air ride suspension, which go up and down. Here's a really nice feature, too. Pop that open, and there's your bed. Pop that closed. Really, really nice by sword. Very, very nice. So, overall, I'd have to rate this model as excellent. It looks great, functions well, paint finish is good on it. It has some surprisingly good detail um, in terms of things you may not know at first. Like I said, you know, the top coming off. I didn't realize that it came off until I started messing around with it. But it's offered at an affordable price. And if you're looking for a high-end tractor, this might be a good option for you. So as always, guys, thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. I really appreciate each and every view I get. I love doing this with you guys. So until next time, take care and be safe.